Okay, so we are going to model our division problems. The first thing we want to do here is give our two numbers um, common denominators. So right now the 4 is a whole number. So remember to make a whole number look like a fraction, we just put it over 1. And then I can see that this one has a 1 on, as the denominator, and the other number 1 and 1 half has a 2 as the denominator. So I'm actually going to switch um, the 4 over 1 and make it out of 2. So they have a common denominator. So to do that, I'm going to multiply by 2, multiply by 2. So now I've got 8 over 2 for my first fraction. <clears throat> and then I also want my second number to also look like a fraction, no mixed numbers, no whole numbers. So remember, we can do our cartwheel for this. I'm going to multiply and then add. So 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. That's my numerator. And then my denominator stays the same. So I have 8 halves divided by 3 halves. Now we can go ahead and start to draw our model. So remember that originally it said we had 4 holes. So I'm going to draw four whole rectangles. It's easier if you draw them next to each other. And we're trying to make them about the same size. I know they're not perfect, but they're close. Now what I need to do is cut each of them in half because it says I have eight halves. So everything here should be modeled in halves. So I'm going to cut each of these in half. And I have eight of them, so I'm going to shade in the fact that I have eight so that I can see how much I have. That will be more important on some of our next problems. Okay, so I'm shading in. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight halves. Okay, so I, this first fraction, that is what I draw. Okay, so I drew eight halves. There it is. Now, the other step is that I need to group these, I'm dividing them into three halves. So this right here, my three, my numerator of my second fraction, this tells me what to group by, how many I'm gonna put into a group. <clears throat> so I'm gonna group every three pieces. So one, two, three, that makes one group. One, two, three, that makes a second group. And then here, one, two, three would be over there, but I don't quite have all my pieces. So here's how we handle that. I can see that I have one, two pieces out of the three pieces I needed. So I write that as a fraction. How many pieces did I have in the group? Two. Out of how many pieces was I trying to get in a group? Three. So now my final answer is I have one, two full groups and two thirds of another group. So four divided by one and a half is two and two thirds, and that is how I would model that. Let's go ahead and try another. So again, first step is I am going to give common denominators. So I have a three and a six as my denominator. So I can change this three into a six by multiplying by two on top and bottom. Now I've got four sixths divided by five sixths. Okay, now I'm ready to draw my model. So four sixths is how much I have. That's less than one whole, so I'm gonna start off with one whole rectangle. Remember, I'm gonna cut it into six pieces and shade in four of those so that this model looks like four sixths. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And again, I'm only shading in four of them because I only have four sixths. Now, remember that this tells me what to group by. So I'm going to group five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh, I don't have a full group, so this is when I get a fraction. So I can see I have one, two, three, four pieces. Out of how many was I trying to group? I was trying to group five. So that is actually my answer. Two so two thirds divided by five sixths is four fifths. And that is how we model that. Okay, let's try another problem. 
Remember, step one is to give common denominators and to make sure that they are both look like fractions. So I'm gonna to have to make this into an improper fraction. Okay, so uh, I have sixths and I have thirds. So let's change the thirds into sixths by multiplying by two. So over here now I have four sixths. And over here I'm gonna do my cartwheel so that I can get my improper fraction. So six times one is six plus one is seven over six. Now I can model my uh, first fraction. So seven six is more than one whole. Remember the original was one and one six. So I'm gonna have to have one whole rectangle and a second rectangle so I can model that second, um, the extra part of the fraction, the one sixth, okay? So I'm going to have to cut these both into six pieces so that I can see that I have seven sixths. So I'm gonna cut this one into six pieces, cut this into six pieces. And then we want to, um, we want to shade in this whole one, because there's our one whole, and an extra one sixth. Okay, and now we're gonna group it. So remember you group by the top number of your second fraction, so every four pieces. So one, two, three, four, there's one group. One, two, three, four, there's a second group, but I'm missing this one piece right here. I don't have that one, so how many do I have? I have one, two, three. Out of how many was I trying to get? I was trying to group one, two, three, four. So three out of four pieces. So I had one full group and three fourths of another group. So one and one sixth divided by two thirds is one and three fourths. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to step you through this one but let you do as much as I can by yourself. So first step, why don't you make them both into improper fractions and then make sure they have common denominators. So you can pause, do that, and come back. Okay, so first I'm gonna do my cartwheel over here. So two times four plus one is nine fourths divided by, over here, two times two is four plus one is five halves. But I wanna have common denominators, so I'm gonna multiply it by two so I can get fourths. So I really have 10 fourths. Okay, hopefully you got that far. Now go ahead and model that first one. So show me what nine fourths looks like. Pause it, come back, and I'll do it with you. Okay, hopefully you tried on your own. So we have one, two holes, when you look back at your original, and an extra fourth. So I'm gonna need actually three um, rectangles to start with here. And I need to cut them into this denominator, so four pieces, each of them into four pieces. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then remember we are shading in whatever the denominator said. So I'm gonna shade in actually um, nine of these. So there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's eight and one extra. That makes sense. The original, remember, was two holes and one fourth. Okay, if you wanna pause here and go ahead and see if you can figure out how to group them and then come back and we'll do the last step together. All right, hopefully you tried it. We should be grouping by 10 pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We don't have a full group, so how many do we have? We have nine pieces. Out of how many did we need? We needed 10, so our answer is nine tenths. All right, hopefully that went okay for you. Now you are gonna go on to level D and get some practice.